Hi Alice, welcome back to our channel. So I'm going to do a DIY on a background. I actually saw it on Pinterest and they wanted to charge like $200. Like there's a store that sells them and I'm not paying $200 for anything. So I bought a bunch of tissue paper. So it's going to be like a tissue paper garland um, background. I'm going to insert a, a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna make it like rainbow colors. So I bought this from Ross and I bought this. It's 150 sheet. It has all the colors I need and I paid $4.99 for this. They use, you can get them from the dollar store too, but they didn't have the colors I wanted. So when I saw this, I just brought the, bought the whole um, pack for $4.99. So I'm gonna need this. You just need a circle. I'm using the CD for um, to trace the circles a pencil and a scissors to start with. There's gonna be some strings and some other stuff later, but all I'm gonna do is, you know, trace some circles on each of these colors that I need and cut them out. So I will be back and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so I've separated all the red tissue paper in a pile and I'm gonna do that with all the colors I need. And I'm gonna fold it accordion style, but I just wanna make sure that my CD fits on there because I'm trying to get as many circles as I can. So I'm going to fold one and then I'm going to fold it again under like that. And Angelo is holding the camera because he's helping mommy. So hold it that way, baby, like that. And then I'm going to fold it one more time. And now that I got, got it, got it nice and flat, I'm going to take my CD and I'm going to trace out a bunch of circles. Just tracing everything. All right, guys, so you're going to cut out a bunch of circles. So the ones that we just traced, all you're going to do is just go ahead. I'm just going to cut this in in half like that. So I just need the circles. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut out the circles. and finish all these little circles and I will be back later to show you the next step okay so I finally got all my pieces cut out I'm not gonna lie it did take me a while to cut these out but I did it while I was sitting in bed and I didn't mind doing it so depends on how big your background is um, you may need more you may need less so this is what I have if I run out I'll just go back to the store and get some more tissue paper I used all the colors that was in the packet except for the white and black because I just want to keep it like a rainbow you know bright colors and I thought these colors were just perfect for what I want to create so I got all my pieces cut out so the next thing you'll need is a needle and some thread or some yarn or some ribbon um, you can use the clear like those fishing line those will be perfect because you won't see the thread i had some but i can't find it so we're just going to use thread and then you need some glue any type of all right so the next thing you'll do is get your string um, ready so you could measure from ceiling to floor but i'm actually only going to do half of from my ceiling to half of the wall because when i make my youtube video you only see like half of me anyways so i'm not gonna do the whole thing but if you were doing something for like a wedding or a party just make it however you like um so you can measure your wall like i said or you could just average like i always do i'm gonna give myself some wiggle room and i'm just gonna cut off some so let me see how much i think i need 
want to give myself more than I think I need. So I'm going to rip this off like that. And then the next step will be to thread your needle. So this is going to take me a while to do. So I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to thread my needle and I'll be right back. All right, so it's been about five months and I finally got this threaded. So it did take me a while. But once you get it threaded, you just need to have a little bit excess on one side because you don't want it to come out of the, the hole. So just have it about this. And then you're gonna take your needle and take a bunch of your cutout circles. And then you wanna try to find the middle. So I'm just gonna average and find the middle and then poke it through your tissue paper like that and then pull it through and depending on how tall your wall is you know you're just going to put as many as you need i don't know how much i actually need so i'm going to do a few then i'm going to measure my wall then I'm, if i need to add more i will so i'm just going to put there's a bunch on here because i think i want them to be close together So once you get as, as much as you need, I'm going to put this over to the side so I don't lose my needle, but I did have some already on it. I'm going to tie off this part. I'm just going to use this right here. Just give yourself some extra room because you want to have enough to hang on the ceiling. So I'm just going to tie this off so I don't lose the, um, the pieces. All right, so then now this is where you'll use the glue. You don't need a lot of glue, you just need a little bit. So you start with your first layer or your first circle. I'm gonna move these down. Start with your first circle like that and give yourself some room on the top. And then you're just gonna take a little bit of glue, not even a lot, because you just want to put a little bit so the glue, so the string doesn't move. So you're just gonna put a lot, a little bit or a lot, depending on you know what type of ribbon or string you're using, a little bit like that, okay? Then you're gonna take your next piece and then you're gonna go up to about, cause I want them to be fairly close together. So I'm gonna keep them about this, this height. So just right about where the middle is and then put a little bit of glue on here also and i'm going to repeat this process until i get as many as i need on there i might just use So you will need a big surface to work on, depending on how many of these little circles you are trying to add onto your wall. But this is what I have so far, and I have to continue adding the little circles. I found an easier way to do this. So you just wanna spread your circles out first, and then go back in with the glue stick. So you just want a little bit on the, in the front, like about that much, and then you're gonna start just my glue on this little container right here and I'm just on an old brush and I'm just going to go back in and just add a little bit of glue on each tab just so the you know so the hole doesn't rip and it secures the tissue paper onto the thread 
and you would do this one time all through your um, little circles and then let that dry and start your next one and then go ahead and attach it to your wall. this background a million times so this is the wall that i'm going to be covering so that's just my background that i film on so i'm just going to start at the top there and just make a drop it's not going to go all the way to the bottom because you don't see the bottom but this is my back drop right there it's my craft stuff all right look what i did so far sorry about the look but i'm in work mode and i started to hang the ones that i've already made it's really simple to hang all I'm using are these tacks from the Dollar Tree. You could probably tape them, but I don't know how well that'll hold up. So I'm just using these tacks. And all you do is you take the top of your string, wrap it around your tack a couple of times. This is pretty light. So once you stick it onto the wall, it's not going anywhere. And here is my tissue garland. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line it up pretty close to the last one. And just stick it in here. Look how pretty that's looking right now. So I'm going to continue to add all the colors. I'm not going to show you each one when I put up there because it's the same step over and over and over and over. You wrap it, you stick it, and you go to the next one. Okay, guys, so this is how it turned out. And I have something to put on the top. That's why I didn't go all the way to the ceiling. I'm going to do some like tissue balls, flowers on the top. But this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really well. It didn't turn out the way they have theirs on Pinterest. Because they use, I think, crepe paper. And crepe paper is a lot, a little thicker than tissue paper. So it looked more like circles. But mine look like feather. And I think it's just beautiful. So I have the yellow, orange, pink, red, green, purple, and blue. I'm going to step back a little bit. Look how pretty I'm going here. So this will be my background. And you can't even really see the thread. So you could probably use any type of thread on there. But here is the final look. I'm very happy with it. And it was worth the time that I put into to this. And if you have help, it'll go so much faster. And I'm going to show you a little glimpse of the next DIY. But this is the tissue paper garland that I made for my YouTube videos, my backdrop. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will be making a lot more DIYs in the future. This is going to be the next DIY. This is actually a tissue paper backdrop that I have over my bed. And I will show you guys how I made this using Dollar Tree tissue paper. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I thank you very much and have a great day.